we can do this the easy way. And I'm gonna give you about three weeks of the easy way. After that, we could do this the hard way. Mm -hmm. And Biden made his decision before Nancy Pelosi engaged in the hard way. Anna Kasparian pushes back on Chink when it comes to President Biden's abysmal speech to exit out of the race. Listen, they're going to continue to gaslight us and make this guy look like he's the second coming to Jesus, but we're not going to have it. This is why in this video, we are going to break down the mindset behind this delusion. Welcome back to my channel. This is the Devori Darkin Show. You already know what to do. Like, share, and subscribe so the algorithm can push this message out to more people just like you and me. Now, Anna Kasparian, right, and Chink, they are on the Young Turts, right? They are the daily host. And every now and then, Anna Kasparian will check Chink because sometimes he gets really delusional and he is absolutely delusional about President Biden's speech and the fact that he made a decision to drop out of the race. Now, before I go any further, let's play the video. So Joe Biden just gave a, a address to the nation and I said that if he drops out, I said this obviously before he did, uh, that we should all give him an ovation. If you can, a standing ovation, we can't get up because we're strapped in here. But go outside, go wherever you are and now it's late at night. but. Record yourself, record your neighbors, give the brother a standing ovation. Mm, he did the right thing. So no, 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 listen, hear me out. So you know nobody wanted him to leave the race more than I did. And we fought like hell for 10 months to make that happen and, and it happened. But there's a giant difference when you, whether you do the right thing or you don't do the right thing at the end. So should he have done it earlier? Sure, of course, no one believed that more than I did. but. When push came to shove, Donald Trump would not let go of power. Even when he lost an election and it was over, he did a fake elector scheme, which I think was a coup against America. Joe Biden, yes, it, he was tested. And yes, it seemed like for a long time he wasn't gonna pass that test, but he did. With enough time left, he left the race and he let go of power. But at the end, when you do the right thing, when it matters most, you got to give credit. So credit where credit is due. Thank you, President Biden. So I'll play bad cop because regardless of Biden making the right decision in the final hour, I, I can't ever stand up and applaud a guy who aided and abetted the slaughter that's currently taking place in Gaza right now. So good that Biden finally realized that he's actually sacrificing the Democratic Party, leading to division within the Democratic Party by refusing to drop out of the race. He did so again, like more than a month after that disastrous debate performance, thus robbing Kamala Harris, who's now the presumptive Democratic nominee, incredibly important and precious time to campaign, to fundraise, to do what's necessary to beat their political opponent, Donald Trump. And so, yes, I look, I, I get it. I understand that urge, and I, you're not doing this, Jenk, to be fair. I understand that urge to engage in what we're seeing all over social media with all of these lawmakers, you know, on their hands and knees, like praying to Joe Biden, making him out to be some sort of messiah. I refuse to engage in that. He did the right thing late, if you ask me. But that also doesn't erase the horrific policies that he was willing to co-sign before he dropped out of the race, before that disastrous debate performance. All of that stuff still exists. Okay, so let me explain the problem here, why this is so crazy on the chink side and why he is so delusional, why she's definitely spot on. Now, her reason for pushing back and not giving him a standing ovation has more to do with the Hamas-Israel situation. My issue has more to do with just what it is. If you were to rob 10 different banks, and then on the 11th one, you're like, you know what? I'm gonna just turn myself in. Should you get any credit for that? No, you 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 continue to break the law over and over and over again. And now we're supposed to look at you like and, and give you a standing ovation. What are you insane? This is exactly the delusion that is floating around on every single mainstream media channel. And that's just why I call them propaganda puppets because that's exactly what they are. Now, I don't really believe Chink is really a propaganda 
puppet. He has a more independent point of view on things. So I'll give him credit where credit is due. But on this, he's delusion just he's delusional just like the rest of them where he literally is like give him a standing ovation for doing the right thing listen when i was in the military it was called integrity you do the right thing when no one is watching you don't get a trophy for doing the right thing you it's implied that you should be doing the right thing right the, you're the president of the united states why did you take us through this why did you drag the american people through this why did you make people feel disgusted and sick because they finally had to criticize you. You know how hard it is for the mainstream media to criticize President Biden, but they had no choice after they saw that debate performance. And they're acting like they didn't know until that night, but hey, that's a whole nother story, right? This is the delusion that is going on in our country, and it truly is unacceptable. But I digress. Let's continue. A, a few important things to point out about the speech. Uh, he made clear that he is not going to resign as president. You've had uh, Republican lawmakers urging him to resign, arguing that, well, if he can't run a campaign, well, then he shouldn't be running the country. That's a little different, right? Running a campaign, attempting to win as president or re-election as president uh, would mean that he thinks that he could serve another four years. Clearly, Joe Biden can't. Um, he also said something that I do agree with, which is he needed to drop out and unify his party, the Democratic Party. And that clearly has happened, so he gets credit for that. He also took credit for a bunch of policies that he didn't actually accomplish, including lowering prescription drug prices. But look, I get it, he wants to go out with a bang. He wants to go out by bragging about what he allegedly accomplished during his presidency. It is what it is, but I would never stand up and give him a standing ovation. Okay, so obviously two things can be true at the same time, right? It is true that he dropped out of the race. And it's also true they forced his ass out. Absolutely. I mean, this is a guy who went out there publicly and stated, hey, they are trying to push me out of the race, but I am staying in. I am your nominee. That's exactly what he said. You know, and so we have in our country these propaganda machines, which are being uh, headed up by CNN, MSNBC, Newsweek, I mean, ABC, NBC, call it whatever you want. All of them are all in on it. And the problem is they're not reporting to the American people the truth. And listen, we're at a point where are we ever, should we ever even expect that? Probably not, which is why it's very important and I think it's just inevitable why the news is becoming more decentralized, where you shouldn't be going to CNN to get your news. You should probably go on X or on YouTube where you follow people you respect. I mean, you're probably going to get more accurate information and quicker than you would from the actual news because the news, it's very, very opinionated. And that doesn't mean other sources are, but it, it's opinionated it's slow and it's misleading 99% of the time. So as I wrap up this video, I want to say this to you. Stop listening to people who overly exaggerate what's going on. Listen, even myself as a conservative, I'm not out there overly exaggerating President Trump. I know there's a lot of people that don't like him. I know there's a lot of people that are conservatives that don't want to vote for him. I'm not naive, right? I'm not going to go out there and overly exaggerate, okay? There's, there, there's a certain line where common sense has to be applied. But I will say this. What we don't want to do is turn into propaganda machines, right? Where we just repeat what everyone else is saying because that, those are the talking points that were passed down from the White House. And I'm talking about the Democrats and how crazy they really are. And that is my mindset about this. What about yours? What do you think about Anna Kasparian really just being honest and upfront and direct with Chink and how he wanted to give President Biden a standing ovation for doing the right thing, but he was forced to do the right thing. I mean, <laughs> that's just, it's just crazy that he wants to do this uh, for him and how President Biden was dragging the Democrat Party all the way until the end, and he really put up a fight 
Uh, and then Nancy Pelosi came in and shut it all down. So this is why I want to read your answers and more in the comments section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.